Dyslexic genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about is, in the previous video on the VIC-1, sitting here without the horn, I discussed how it had been repainted and I was going to have to redo it. Well, I took the horn down to my friends as strippers at the corner. That's because they're at the corner of two roads, and that's their nickname. And they're a rust and paint removal company. And they strip things down and remove the rust. They also do car bodies for street lots and stuff. But let me show you. This is what the horn looks like after it's been stripped. So let me explain this. It's cheaper to send something out like a horn to be commercially stripped than it is to go to Lowe's or Home Depot, buy some paint remover, spend hours removing this stuff for 20 bucks, and then do it. Just send it out, have it stripped down professionally, and then remove the rust. When I'm done with the horn, and this is off the VIC-1, and you can see how wonderfully they strip these things. They take everything out. No problem way down here in the middle. It's all chemically dipped. When I'm done with the horn, it's going to look like this horn on the VIC-3. All pins striped on the sides. All done on the inside. Originally, some Victor horns looked like this, and I'm going to do it to this one too because I like that look. You know, this hobby's a lot of fun, and then when I'm done, I'll show you what the horn looks like after it's completely done. And that's my tip for the day.